thank you to the Duke of Wellington. What a pretty piece of furniture from the 1780s, 1790s. Really? Oh, absolutely. Pure Sheraton in design. And, of course, the latest fashion at that time was to show off all these exotic timbers. You've got this sort of parquetry design. Do you know what they're all called? Do you know all these names? I should imagine there's something like uh, Amboina, Rosewood, that oh, sort of thing. Oh, very good. Is it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's Thuya Wood, and there is Rosewood, and that is probably Kingwood. And, oh, they're just all of the new exotic timbers that were being imported from the East and the West Indies, and it was fashionable to show them like this, to give this lovely diamond effect on the top. The rest of it, striking contrast, is this very black rosewood, just a very dense black colour, contrasting at that time with white stringing of boxwood or sycamore, either white or green, and then the black, and so elegant. Little taper legs, very smart thing. And then it opens up to make a games table. Now, I've never seen one without a, a loper. There's usually something to support. Because obviously people are going to put their elbows on, I would have thought. Anyway, it's as it was, totally original. And you've got a checkerboard top which you lift off. Oh, backgammon underneath. And if you wanted to play ordinary cards, there it is, a multi-purpose table. I thought table. it was good that that hadn't been moth-eaten or anything. Well, I think so too. I doubt very much, though, you know, if that's the original. This is, of course, this is sort of 1890s cloth. I see. Uh, the, the original would have been a, a coarser weave than that. Yes. And a greyer colour. Yeah. But Sorry about uh, that. Never, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll forgive it that. The original leather here, though, my goodness. I wonder how many fortunes have been won and lost on that. Now, tell me the, the family history with this. It originally came into the family through somebody who was either the secretary or the valet to the Duke of Wellington. Really? And when he got married, the Duke of Wellington gave him this and a set of willow patterned, uh, a, a tea set, a willow patterned tea set. My cousin said that she very well remembered when she was a young girl. Her father was playing whist, I suppose it would have been in those days. Um, lost. Yes. You must never lose at cards. <laughs> he had a bad temper, picked up the original playing cards that they were playing with, which had gone with the table always, and chucked the whole lot in the fire. Oh, how dreadful. What a shame. So that's sad. Yes, it is sad. But on the other hand, it's a part of history. That's right. And it's a reflection of the times and the character of the person. Mm. And as long as you keep the story with the table, yes. you should write that down. I have. Excellent. Then and tuck it in, in the table so that That's it. in a hundred years' I time, when we out. do this again... I took it out <laughs> when I brought it here. Oh, excellent. Oh, well, then I'm telling you what you've already done. That's excellent. Well done. But such a pretty table. And with family history, which makes such a difference. Provenance is so important today. It is sufficiently valuable that if it got damaged or stolen, then you should have some form of, 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 of compensation by insurance. And for insurance purposes, it's eight and a half thousand pounds. Thank you to the Duke of Wellington.